Our other big story tonight, effective immediately, you can now fly or ride buses and trains mask free. The news comes just hours after a federal judge in Tampa ruled against the CDC, saying the court accepts the CDC's argument masks limit COVID-19 transmission. But that alone was not sufficient to exceed the agency's authority. News 6's Treasure Roberts is live at OIA for us tonight. Treasure, you've learned the TSA has stopped enforcing that mandate. Yes, Matt, they have. As of right now, passengers are not required to wear masks in transportation hubs like inside the Orlando International Airport or on airplanes. And this is just welcome news to many people I spoke with who say this is long overdue. After about two years of masking up, wearing face coverings is now optional for travelers. The White House issued this statement, noting TSA will not enforce masks even though the CDC is still recommending them. We're elated. There's thousands of us that are communicating today that are coworkers, uh, pilots and flight attendants that are ecstatic. The decision followed a ruling from a federal judge in Tampa who overturned the national mask mandate Monday, covering airplanes and other public transportation. The judge says the CDC failed to justify its decision to extend the mask mandate. President Joe Biden's administration extended the mandate as they monitored an uptake in COVID-19 cases. It was set to expire on May 3rd. Tammy Gipp is a flight attendant who says the masks have been a headache, impacting her health and causing some passengers to become unruly. It has created nothing but chaos. We all love our jobs and we no longer love our jobs. It's been very difficult these last couple of years. Gipp and Leonardo McDonough are a part of a group called Americans Against Mass Mandates. They have pending litigation against select airlines, TSA and the CDC. McDonald, a passenger, recalls a run in with an airline when he was, quote, harassed by airline employees for not wearing a mask. I have a deviated septum, so I only breathe out of one nostril. So he says he showed proof of medical exemption and was still told to exit the plane. Now he's thrilled to hear the mask mandate was overturned and he's not alone. And I'm kind of happy with that because I'm tired of wearing masks. Passengers hope it continues to be optional. The Association of Flight Attendants posted this statement on Twitter, urging calm and patience as they wait for further instructions. They say it can take up to 48 hours to implement new procedures. The association asks everyone continue to follow crew member instructions, reminding passengers disruptive behavior has serious consequences and puts everyone at risk. Well, I hope just uh, people stop fighting inside airplanes because of a mask mandate. <laughs> And so far, a few airlines have announced that masks are not required for passengers or employees on their aircrafts. Those include Delta, Frontier, JetBlue, Southwest and United Airlines. Live at the Orlando International Airport, Treasure Roberts getting results. News 6.